Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, let's start today's new snapshot. Before starting this new session my request to you all, please press subscribe button and press bell icon for regular updates on new video upload, if you are new to this channel, and also press like button if you find this video useful to you. Let's start. In a move that will help meet delivery deadlines, Defense PSU Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, has decided to outsource majority of the production work of light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas. The move will see private firms make nearly 70% of the aircraft. Presently, HAL is manufacturing LCA MK1 and is a working on the ramping up of production capacity from 8 to 16 aircraft per annum which it expects to happen by 2019. Major subassemblies such as front fuselage, center fuselage, rear fuselage, wings ETL, have been outsourced to private industry. The orders have been placed and they need about a year to supply these. Soon, nearly 70% will be made by our industry, a senior official part of the LCA project told Toy. About 85 vendors, private firms, will be involved in the production of LCA. Some major players are, Dynamatic Technologies LTD, Bengaluru, Front Fuselage, VEM Technologies, Hyderabad, Center Fuselage, Alpha Tokal, Bengaluru, Rear Fuselage, LNT, Coimbatore, Wings, while the tail fin and rudder will be supplied by National Aerospace Laboratory and Tata Advanced Materials Limited with increased level of outsourcing and capacity within HAL, we will be able to speed up the deliveries to cater to the present and future requirements of our customers. Enhanced outsourcing is the norm being followed across some important projects at HAL. For example, LCH production will involve outsourcing as a major strategy, another senior HAL official said. Jaipur's civic body has made it mandatory for all staff to sing the national anthem every morning and band Mataram every evening, the Indian Express reported on Wednesday. Mayor Ashik Lahoti also said that those who oppose the decision should go to Pakistan. The order was first implemented at the headquarters of the Jaipur Municipal Corporation on Tuesday. The national anthem will be played at 9.50 m and band Mataram at 5.55 pm every day. After the national anthem is played, the biometric attendance system will not accept any more entries, according to India Today. The 2017 report of the Fragile States Index places Pakistan among the first 20 failed countries, which should be worrisome for Islamabad. Instead of continuing with the low-intensity war against its neighbors, Pakistan should make efforts to implement reforms in diverse fields. Pakistan was carved out of India on the basis of the two-nation theory broadly intended to foster separation and hatred. This philosophy persists today, with greater vengeance. The Indian Navy will soon have 12 mines countermeasure vessels, MCSV, in its fleet. The expansion in fleet is thanks to talks between Goa Shipyard, GSY, a public centre undertaking under the Ministry of Defence, and a South Korean firm. The MCSV are naval ships used to destroy naval mines. The project cost, which is estimated at Rs 32,000 crore, will help the Indian Navy detect and destroy mines that are a constant threat to submarines. The 2017 report of the Fragile States Index places Pakistan among the first 20 failed countries, which should be worrisome for Islamabad. Instead of continuing with the low-intensity war against its neighbors, Pakistan should make efforts to implement reforms in diverse fields. Pakistan was carved out of India on the basis of the two-nation theory broadly intended to foster separation and hatred. This philosophy persists today, with greater vengeance. We are in talks with a South Korean company and our company is also boosting its capacities and modernizing its yard to design and manufacture vessels for the Indian Navy, as well as allies of India, said S. P. Raker the director of operations with GSY. A Russian delegation recently visited the shipyard to hold talks on frigates which will boost capabilities of Indian Navy. The talk is on with Russia over frigates and we are hopeful, 
said a source while speaking to media. The Defense Acquisition Council, DAC, chaired by Defense Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, has approved the procurement of 111 utility helicopters for the Indian Navy under the Strategic Partnership model. About 16 will be taken in flyaway condition and 95 will be done in later stage by the Indian manufacturer, said a Defence Ministry official who did not wish to be named. The choppers will be procured under the Defence Ministry's new strategic partnership model that aims to localise manufacturing. Under the strategic partnership model, the government will shortlist and then pick Indian companies to join forces with foreign firms to make fighter jets, helicopters, armoured vehicles and submarines. Indian firms Larson & Tabro Ltd, Mahindra & Mahindra Ltd, Tata Group and Adani Group, among others are likely to benefit the most from this new policy. The government will now start the process to identify a foreign helicopter maker and an Indian defence firm for a joint venture for the project. The Indian Air Force, IAF, will participate in a two-week-long multilateral air exercise in Israel beginning Thursday. It is for the first time the IAF will operate with Israeli Air Force in a multilateral exercise setting. A 45-member contingent of IAF left for Israel today to take part in Blue Flag 17, the Defense Ministry said in a statement. Blue Flag is a biannual multilateral exercise which aims to strengthen military cooperation among participating nations. Indian Air Force is participating with the C-130J Special Operations Aircraft along with Garrod Commandos. The exercise would provide a platform for sharing of knowledge, combat experience and in improving operational capability of the participating nations, the ministry said. The exercise is being conducted at Avda Air Force Base in Israel from November 2nd to 16th. Cancellations and delays have bogged the Indian Navy's plans to induct the Scorpeni class submarine, a critical asset for the forces. Though the first Scorpeni submarine Calvary was delivered in September to the Indian Navy at the Mazagon Dock shipyard, its commissioning continues to be held over for one reason or the other. The Navy could be looking to commission in Calvary next month. Sources pointed out, timing it with the 50th year of Indian submarine operations. The Indian Navy submarine arm was founded in December 1967. An indigenous test rig for head-up display HUD, units of aircraft has been developed by the Central Scientific Instruments Organization CSIO, here that will replace imported equipment in use at present, thereby leading to significant cost saving. The test rig will be produced commercially by the public sector undertaking Bharat Electronics Limited that is already manufacturing HUDs for various fighter and training aircraft in Indian inventory. All IAF and Navy fighters and advanced trainers as well as the C-17 transport aircraft are equipped with HUDs. A project to develop a HUD system for helicopters is also on the drawing boards. The test rig is part of an end-to-end -end solution that will help in evaluating different functionalities of HUDs and similar systems at the intermediate and operator level at airbases as well as at depot level, maintenance level and at manufacturing agencies. According to CSIO scientists, the rig is an important import substitute which will help in reducing the overall time taken as well as the costs incurred to test new HUDs. Uncertainty continues over the $8 billion Futuristic Infantry Combat Vehicle FICV, project, as the Ministry of Defence MOD, has asked the Indian Army to seek a detailed project report DPR, from all the contenders who had received the expression of interest EOI. About 2,600 FICV's high-tech complex vehicle program under the MAKE category will be needed to replace the Army's old Russian-origin BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles. Project FICV will have an expected lifespan of 32 years. Sources told FE, the Integrated Project Management Team IPMT, has been asked to seek detailed reports from all the companies, as the MOD has not been able to down-select any of the companies who have responded to EOI. This entire process of getting report from all the vendors is expected to take more than a year, the source added. Preliminary Services Qualitative Requirements PSQR, will act as guidelines during preparation of DPR. As India firmed up the technology for its first indigenous aircraft carrier, the India, 
U.S. Joint Working Group on Aircraft Carrier Technology Cooperation, JAGAXI, arrived at Inshansa to get a better understanding of the Indian Navy's fighter aircraft operations. The visit to Goa, is the fourth meeting of the Joint Working Group since the two countries began to hold candid discussions on aircraft carrier technology in 2015. A delegation comprising of seven Indian officials and 14 U.S. delegates visited in Goa on 29. The joint group visited the premier naval air station Hansa and witnessed the flying facilities including a demonstration of the MiG-29K fighter aircraft operations. The delegation was also taken for an onboard India's sole aircraft carrier in Vikramaditya on Tuesday, a naval source said. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.